Angie Matson, Chief Efficiency Officer, Your Organized Guide, here for your fourth and final installment of Monday Mojo. Mojo Monday, call it what you want, I do. Uh, today, on this last uh, installment for Mojo Monday, I want to talk about being decisive. Last week, I worked with a VP at a company. He had 6,400 98 emails in his inbox. It was breathtaking. He was very stressed out about it. He said, I know there's things in there that I haven't done and I don't know what to do about them. We worked together for two hours, got his inbox down to about 400 and I gave him homework to finish up the rest. So 6,000 plus emails down to 400 in less than two hours be decisive. The thing that we talked about the entire two hours that he and I worked together, make fast decisions. These aren't haphazard decisions. These are well-informed decisions, but be decisive. Act quickly. Uh, some people in the coaching world and in the business world say money loves speed. And I have to agree with that. The VP that I worked with last week was churning in all of these emails. They really bothered him. And he knew there was time being lost, time being money, in his email box. He knew there was business in there that he had not followed up on. I asked him to be decisive. He was very fast at being able to make decisions by the end of our time together. And I have no doubt by the time we get together on Wednesday, his inbox will be at a comfortable 20 to 25 messages that he needs to work on. Be decisive. Okay, so let's talk about you for a minute. Where in your five essential business systems are you being decisive? Where is it working really well? When do you know that you can make quick, fast decisions and they're right? Now turn it on its head. Where are you churning with being wishy-washy, with being indecisive, with not making fast decisions? Making fast decisions is about trusting your gut. And the more you do it as you're getting clients, doing the work, looking at your finances, running your business, making those decisions, and in your owner's mindset, where can you become very adept of being decisive, making fast decisions. So with getting clients, for me, that has come with learning. When I get in front of somebody, I can tell now very quickly whether they're gonna be a good client for me or if I should refer them on to somebody else. And I make fast decisions. Now I don't spend time writing proposals for clients who are not a good fit for me, either because they're not willing to make the investment of time or money or because perhaps our personalities just don't mesh. And that's a totally good reason not to take on a client for me. Um, so I'm very fast now knowing yes to this client, potential client, or no to this potential client. When I'm doing the work, I, make, I help my customers make fast decisions as well as me making fast decisions so that they see that I'm modeling what I'm teaching. Running your business in the owner's mindset. Where are you investing in yourself, in your skills? Maybe it's in your sales skills. Maybe it's in your copywriting skills. Um, perhaps it's you just need more continuing education on a very specific area in your business to get better at something. A lot of people invest with me down in this fifth essential business system with their email, just like the guy that I met with last week learning how to make fast decisions, how to manage your email, how to manage your time, how to put boundaries around your time, um, how to use your energy appropriately. These are all about being decisive, knowing what works for you, what doesn't work for you. So as you go through your week this week, this is your homework. Be decisive. Make fast decisions. Get the email out of the inbox. Shut the door, get work done. Turn off the email, focus on the projects. Be decisive, sit down and say, these are the five clients I want, I know I want them, 
They're a perfect fit for me. I'm a perfect fit for them. I'm going to call them this week. Get it done. Be decisive. So, Monday Mojo, installment number four. Be decisive. And check your email Thursday for a special invitation coming from me. Angie Matson, Chief Efficiency Officer, your organized guide.